Today we are doing a review on this gimbal stabiliser for smartphones, this little baby here. It's sold by a company called Home. Home. I'm not sure if I've pronounced that right, but that's what I'm going to call it. This is the iSteady X gimbal stabiliser, and it costs round about just under £70. And as always, I will stick a link in the video description, so you can go and check it out. So, nicely packaged by them. It came in a paper bag, sort of Amazon paper bag sort of thing. So, what we're going to do, we're going to cut her open, have a look around, see what you're going to get for your money, and uh, give it a test. Hopefully, I'll cut that just about right. Let's get the wrapping off. Yeah, it's nicely done, isn't it? It says, make the moment, enjoy it. Oh, that's pretty good. What's this on the back? 259 grams, so you know what the weight is, ultra light, foldable design, three axes, moment mode, quick roll switch, auto face tracking, 3.0. And in the box, shows you what you get in the box, blah, 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 so you get power cable, a wrist strap, storage pouch, mini tripod, and iSteady X, which is the gimbal stabiliser. And it's compatible with Apple and Google. And you will have to download an app for it. So uh, with that, let's get her out. Ah, looks very nice. What's this? Right, that's a little handheld thing, extension. So this is the baby, and we will have to set it all up. So I might even have to charge it up before I can use it. Get that and that. You get your little wrist strap. USB charger and what you got here? This would be your little carry case. Get that, put this in there tight. Yeah, that's nice. That fits. And instructions. Ooh, quite a lot there. Hopefully it's just multilingo. Let's have a quick look. Yes, multilingo. So uh page one we probably want. So 1 to 13 pages, and hopefully some of that will be just safety stuff. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a read in the instructions, charge her up, and then we will give her a test. She's all charged up, and I've had a little play of her, and it is really easy to use. It's probably the easiest gimbal I've had so far, and I've had a few. So I'm going to quickly show you how easy it is to set up, and how easy it is to use the software. And the software in my opinion, is absolutely brilliant. It's very simple to use and it has some fantastic little features. So with that, let's get on with it. So first of all, I put the tripod on. So that's on, then I unlock it. And once it's unlocked, undo this little knob on the end here to release that, unclip it, pull it out to its full length, do the little knob back up again, like so. Put the feet out, put it on the stand, and connect your phone so basically you put your phone in there's no markings to tell you where to put your phone but once you've done it a few times you will get a basic idea of where it's got to go so it's got to be balanced it doesn't have to be perfectly balanced but it has to be balanced to a point so that's about right see that so to me that's about perfect so then I'll turn it on, the gimbal, hold it in for a few seconds. So that's ready. And then we need to activate the software, or start the software up. And it's Hoem Pro, this baby here. And I've already linked it up to this already. So all we have to do each time we start it up is connect, and then start recording. And like I said, it has some fantastic features. These little moments here, yeah, I like these very much. So you have this, it's called Inception, and look, I've already done one just to have a little practice, and I'm going to show you right now. Then I've done another one. I haven't done all of them. This is the panoramic video, which I thought was pretty good. Again, I'm showing you. This is the one I've done. And then we have smart motion time lapse. So I haven't done a time lapse one yet, but it is quite easy to do. And also we have 
fantastic rotation. Again, I haven't done one, but again, it is easy to do. And this one, now I've had a little play about this one. This is called the Dolly Zoom. Like I said, I've had a little play about it, and I've only done it on this church, just to see what would happen. But this is my favourite. I like the Inception. I think it's really cool. It looks, you know, good effects and fantastic. But if you don't want that, it's just doing normal stuff. It's got a tracker on it, so it does a face tracking. Again, which I thought was really easy to use. That's this baby over there. You can do a person, so face, or you can do an object. And that, to me, works extremely well. I'm really impressed with the whole package, with the software, with the gimbal itself. It is really easy to use. Yeah, to me, it is probably one of the best budget gimbals I've ever had. And I'm not just saying that, I've had a few, like I said, but this was easy to set up. There was no messing about with doing three different axes. All I had to do is get it level on now, and that was it. Took seconds to do. So uh, with that, back over to you, Yorkie. Right, so I've had it for a few days now, and yeah, it is pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's pretty damn close. The only issue I could find with it is when you've got it in this mode and you go down like that, the arm is being picked up by my camera. And that is because my camera has three lenses that go down the side or go straight down rather than being up the very top. For me, that is the only issue, but it is not a deal breaker because I think this is absolutely brilliant. It's probably the best gimbal that I've ever owned. For less than £100, I think it's pretty much perfect. Definitely gets my thumbs up. I am well impressed with it. Navigation was easy. Setting it up, again, was easy. And it just works. I love the moment things that I showed you earlier. You know, where you're doing the twirling. They worked perfectly for me. I didn't try all of them, but you get a general idea of how easy they are to use. Yeah, it definitely gets my thumbs up. I am well impressed with it. Easy to use. No messing about trying to figure out exactly where to put it. All you've got to do is one adjustment, get it as close as you can, and job done. Yeah, well impressed. Definitely gets my thumbs up. And I hope you found this video helpful and it helped you to decide whether or not you want to get something like this. If you're going to get something like this for less than £100, I would highly recommend you buying this baby. I am well impressed. Yeah, perfect, or almost anyway. Do, do, do. I like it very much. So with that, thank you very much for watching, and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down, and uh, please subscribe.